Hello everyone, my name is Rufo Chifu and you are welcome to Business Tips. And on this channel, I talk about business ideas and tips that will help you move your business to the next level or that's going to help you start up a new business. And if you're interested in any of these topics, please hit the subscribe button below and do not forget to hit the notification button so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. And on today's video, we are going to be talking about how to manage your stock as a small business on Excel. A lot of small and medium-sized companies really don't have money to purchase very expensive softwares. I would not even encourage any of them to do that when you've got Excel. So I'll be taking you through the step-by-step. -step. I mean, this is my method. There are so many ways to manage stock on Excel, but I'll show you one of the simplest ways that I've used so far and a lot of people are using to actually manage stock as a small businessman. Now grab that cup of coffee and relax. I'm going to take you through. And this video is just like episode one of so many episodes, so you might want to watch all the other episodes as we go along. For the purpose of this tutorial, that's managing your inventory or tracking your inventory um, using Excel, we are going to be using four different types of functions. Yeah, don't be scared when I say functions. Even if you've never used Excel before, I am going to break this down one after the other and explain how to correlate them or how to put them together in one Excel sheet so that you can manage your Excel, um, your stock in Excel, okay? These functions are data validation, VLOOKUP, which is kind of an advanced formula, but I'm going to make it very simple for you. Concatenate is just like, you know, joining one or two things together. That's easy. And um, if error, if error is like going to trap, you know, catch all your errors on your sheet so that you don't have so many different types of errors, you know, popping up on your sheet. So I'm going to start with step one. This is the first thing you need to do if you want to start tracking inventory on Excel, okay? Now you need to create a sheet, a worksheet inside your workbook. So you create a worksheet called products. And then you then have to list all the products that you want to track in. It can be, you know, if you're selling, if you're having a provision store, you can have soap, pepper, orange, tin tomato, whatever it is. So on this sheet, you need to list every single stock item that you intend to track or every single inventory item that your business deals in. So you need to list it down under the sheet. Now, look how I'm doing this. I'm going to create a column um, um, the various column as you see here, I'm going to create each column and I'm going to, you know, the first row is going to be my column header. Okay. Now watch this, this sheet, I'm going to call it the product sheet. Now watch what I'm doing right now. I'm creating a product sheet right now, right here. It's what we call the product name. Um, I'm going to be using snails because one of my businesses is I sell snails. So I'll be using, I have different types of snail packets. So I want to track them on this Excel sheet. You know, each time I, I produce, I want to track to see how many are in stock. And each time I sell, I also want to track to see what is left. So as you can see here, I'm going to put product name and then I want to also track the purchase price and then the selling price. Now, every single product should have a product number. Okay, it depends on if you're selling spare parts or you're selling a provision store, you might want to you might want to group them in categories. Let's say milk, tin milk, you can put all of them in one category and give it a product number. So each time you bring 10 tin milks, you know that okay, 10 has increased, and each time you sell one, one has gone out, so the remainder is nine. That's what basically the sheet is going to be doing. Now look at what I'm going to do. So I'm going to input each of this one. And then now I'll put the buying prices, that's like, you know, the purchase price or the cost of production. And then I'm also going to put the selling price, how much I'm going to sell them. Then now, this is where we're going to use concatenate formula. Now, look at what I'm doing here. Now, I'm going to type in, I'm just going to go to formula box here or the formula icon. And then I put what I want to concatenate. Now, I'm concatenating this, you're going to see where we're going to use it. But the concatenate feature simply just merges the product number to the product name okay so you see what it gives me a very fine so i'll not need to each time if i create any other products and product numbers i'm just going to have the concatenate on the validation button i'm doing this because i want to use this 
on the next sheet which we are going to be looking at which is going to validate you know to ensure that um, all the products you input on the stock uh, management sheet is actually on your product sheet that's exactly what we're going to do so you're going to see how that merges together in my subsequent sheet now if you see this other column here it's called stock movement so basically we've got stock in and stock out that's what we are tracking but each time stock comes into the stock location and then each time stock goes out well there are so many other things you want to track if you want if you have some other information about your inventory that you want to also track like location where it's based and you know who is managing the inventory and so on and so forth so you can increase the column this way based on what you really want to track but for me for my snails business of course the ufa snails business i don't need much this is just what i need to track now as you can see i've got um the 5k frozen snails 2.5k i've got the eye packs then the 10k dried and 20k dried I've, I've just got you know a couple of a, a few a few uh, like you know five different products that I want to track. I know for your business or for your small business, you might have so many of them, but in this case, I've not got much. So I will leave it like this, and we are going to go to step two, okay? Yeah, step two is that you add the data validation column. Of course, we've already added that. Now, how do you use concatenate function? You know, the concatenate function in Excel simply just adds one, data in one cell to the other cell it's a fast way of bringing things together so if you have different datas in different cells you want to bring them together you just use the concatenate function to do that now i have explained how to use the concatenate formula in my in the description to this video so if you go right down you'll see a detailed description of how to use the concatenate formula guys this was just episode one and we started with step one and step two we are going to go right down to step 10 so it's going to have like five different episodes and you don't want to miss out so keep clicking and make sure that you watch all the episodes in this series if you like the video leave us a thumbs up drop us a comment like the video and don't forget to subscribe onto this channel thanks for watching and see you on my next video bye the finger now.